each year for the, I would say the last 15 years, we've been going to the annual conference in Williamsburg, working wood in the 18th century. Well, this year, there was no on-site meeting. It was in Zoom, so it was difficult to find some piece that I would like to reproduce. Each year, I would come home with an idea of an, another piece of furniture. And in this case, I saw this video, which was made probably nine years ago in the Cooper's uh, shop. This container, it's made like a barrel. It has uh, staves, several staves. It is elliptical. And I decided I wanted to create the design, create the model for this container, and uh, also then build it in the shop. So in creating the SketchUp, I'll go through this, the steps that I used. And first of all is just to make a, a circle here. But uh, the ch difference here is to make this circle with 20 sides. So when you pick the circle tool, it uh, usually the default is 20 down here in the measurement. It'll say 24. Well, I've changed that to 20 by just typing in 20. And therefore, when I make a circle, there are uh, 20 sides. And I want that because that original piece has 20 staves. And you can see where these staves will be positioned in the, in the container. But right now, this is a circle, and I need to change that circle to an ellipse. And the dimensions that the Master Cooper in Williamsburg gave me are uh, these dimensions, uh, 12 by at the, in the short dimension and 16 in the long dimension. And the way you change that circle uh, into an ellipse by using the scale tool. And I pick the scale tool and I want to uh, scale it on this red axis and I'm going to hold down the control key, the option key, because then it, it scales about the center and when you move the scale tool you can see that it turns it into different kinds of ellipses. And I want that 12 by 16. So that's that's a, a start on that shaping of this container. Now the next thing to do then is just do a push-pull to create the uh, the height of this thing, which is 15 inches. Uh, that's what the Master Cooper thought that this piece uh, had is 15 inches in height. So there's there's no taper here. It's just a push pull straight up to its final height. But now I want to taper that so that it is 16 inches at the top and it's should have been 18. I ended up with 17 and 15 16 uh, So to get that taper again uh, you can use the uh, the uh, scale tool and I'm gonna I think this is this is a group here and I want to 
I select this bottom portion here that I want to scale and again choose the red axis and hold down the control key and then I can I can change the bottom ellipse to whatever I want. I should have picked 18 when I did this but uh, but right now it's uh, it's 17 and 15 16 it's close enough well then the next step is well what I did is I just drew lines down from these uh, these showing the staves and I've also drawn a quarter here because if I have a quarter of this chest then I really have everything because I can copy this and flip it and get all four quadrants uh, put together so I've just simplified to one quarter of the chest so that means that there are only five unique staves and uh, components five unique sizes and shapes and um, dimensions and so on so uh, I only have to deal with five staves to make this container now I don't have the staves defined here in this step but to create those slats uh, let me just here's x-ray in an x-ray mode you can see that uh, I did use the offset tool let's go back here and edit this group and if I choose the this top edge here and then pick the offset tool I can draw an offset here that is three quarters of an inch thick so I'm making these staves three quarters of an inch thick and then I can draw the edges as well uh, to, to create the staves that are shown shown here in this this uh, this next slide so the state now did I all are they actually this is a, a still a group uh, right at this point these are not defined as slats, as components. So the way to make these components then is to just do a selection over each one of these things and right click and make a component. So I've made slat one, slat two, slats three, so on. Uh, five, five slats close the group. Uh, so here now are the slats. They're components now. This is still overall a group but there's a component slat one. There's another, 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 another. So uh, the next part is is I need to create a groove in these slats down here to capture the bottom of the container. Uh, let's see the way I did that is I used a, a follow me I created a, a uh, shape here is just a rectangular groove so to speak in here and then I used the follow me uh, I created a little shape 
right here and then I used a follow me with a path to create this blue shape here and then I intersected intersected that shape with each of these slats to then create these these grooves for the bottom uh, so now now I have uh, each of these slats uh, and I'm showing them in x-ray so I can see the back edges as well. Now I've got a, f a front view and I've also got camera at parallel projection so uh, what I can do is make a template, a full-size template from this for the back shape and also for the front shape and with those templates then I can bandsaw the overall shape and then use some hand tools to hand plane the uh, angle of the of the edges so I've got uh, d the dimensions here for each of these slats and I can make the templates that'll mark it out uh, easily for me to bandsaw uh, the, the edge here and, and then create the, the angle this angle here just with hand planes or spoke shaves or uh, draw knife, whatever. Uh, so every one of these slats it ha has different dimensions and different angles and uh, but but there's only five of them that I have to then do each one of these has to be duplicated four times to make the uh, final uh, container. So I think I've got a process. Oh, one other thing. There's a bottom piece and uh, I used uh, I used that the slots to figure out how to make a, a tapered edge on this bottom piece and so that's that takes care of the bottom. The assembly then uh, also has a top and a handle and these leather hinges, thick cowhide uh, that provides a, a hinge for this lid so I think I've got the detail construction enough to go to the shop with this and uh, also it, I, I didn't show it but I, I created a steel band uh, that will surround these staves and be pounded in uh, just like making a barrel. Uh, 